Hey everybody, welcome back to another Deck Profile Friday. This one here, we're going to revisit one of my GLC decks uh, that I've been playing a lot uh, with. And um, just kind of, I wanted to go over some of the problems that I was having with it. And, uh, you know, what I did to make it better. So, we're going to go over my metal gym leader challenge deck here featuring Aegislash slash and friends uh but before that like i said we're gonna go through what i took out um starting with the metagross here i you know was finding that i was actually never getting this off um would be a card that i would draw with um you know not on the you know like a, like a regular um, pardon me, like, like at, like not at my draw phase, you know, I could be through like a, uh, like an opponent's Marnie or an Iono or, you know, my own like professor research or an Iono, pardon me, not an Iono or a Marnie stuff like that. Right. Or, um, you know, I would open with it or to be prized. Right. It just like, I would never be able to play this card. So, I kind of decided that we should take it out. It's really doing nothing. It's just like a, you know, it's like a battle VIP pass, you know, in your deck, you know, at the, at the final few turns of the, of a game, right? It's, it, it does nothing. It's a dead card, right? And you don't need it. So, um, even though it's got an incredible, um, attack here and the ability to, to draw three cards, right? Like that type of power, and then the HP is really good too. And just like I was never, uh, you know, really using this. So it's had to, uh, had to leave. Next card is Peonia. Um, I never really use this card much either. I don't really think it's uh, too great, you know, especially if you're uh, behind. In a game, you know, in this deck, you know, um, you can get behind while you're setting up, right? So I'd rather not, you know, waste my supporter for the turn um, trying to set up, right? I'd waste my supporter, or pardon me, not trying to set, I'd waste my supporter, you know, for the turn trying to get cards to help me set up. And this didn't really do that a whole lot, so it had to go as well. Jubilife Village, um, you know, I thought there was a, you know, a, a better stadium out there, you know, especially with the, uh, um, the amount of tools that we have in here. So, hint, hint. Boost Shake, you know, kind of the same thing. It's really only good on my first turn, like first turn of the game. So, you know, it's it's very similar to. You know, like you, you want to have this card kind of like the uh, Eternatus Galarian Weezing deck. You know, you want this tart, uh, card, pardon me, not tart, on that, you know, first turn of the game so you can get that turn one Weezing into play, right? This deck, it doesn't really matter, um, as well as the other big thing is that you, you don't have four seal stone in this deck like Eternatus did to search out any card that you need, right? So therefore, the chances of this getting off isn't really that high. <laughs> Lana's fishing rod. Um, we got kind of plenty of you know tools that do the same thing, so I don't really think that this is needed. And um, we do have our rods for like our other rods to uh, to put Pokemon back in the deck. So. There we go. And then lastly, this thing here is, um, I feel like it's kind of a waste too. Um, yeah, not really a point in this. The only real point that, you know, there would be, would be to, um, you know, have this as an additional Pokemon to start with in the deck. But I don't think you need it. I think there are other Pokemon in GLC that you can play that will, you know, help your deck out and make you more consistent. So, yeah, that's what I took out. So, 
onto the deck. So I did not change the Pokemon lineup at all, right? I kept it all the same. Um, we're going to play Simple. We're going to play Age of Slash, Dewblade, and Hone Edge for this line. So these are all the best ones. Uh, you know, for each of their names, right? A Hone Edge here. Actually, the Hone Edge, you know, I could maybe put in the 30 damaging one, right? Um, but I can't remember if that one has a... I do know there's a single energy one. I think it's like Reckless Charge. I think it does um, 30 damage. You take 10. But I do believe it has a higher retreat cost. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not too sure. Um, this one here has one retreat cost, and it does, uh, you know, 30 for two, but no ten, no damage to itself. So, you know, that uh, can help. Um, it's got resistance versus grass too, which is pretty good. Uh, the dew blade here, I really like this dew blade. Uh, this attack does 30 damage for each Pokemon tool card. Attached to all Pokemon. So that's really good as this deck, you know, plays a lot of tools. So that's really awesome. Age of Slash there. So this one here, kind of, it's to go with the theme of the deck. You know, we got, uh, you know, Age of Slash for that big shield ability. All of your Pokemon take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks after applying weakness and resistance. So that's really good. So if you resist grass and you have this out, you're taking minus 60 from their attacks. And then power edge for three, two metal, and a colorless, it does 130. So that's pretty cool. Um, next, we have here, we got Kling Clang, Clang, and Clink, right? Um, so all these ones are together, right? So with um, Clink and Clang there, right? I really like those because I think these are the two best ones. And the reason why I say that is because of that call for backup attack. Now this deck does not have like, pretty much any Pokemon that has a... Um, a call for family type attack, which is unfortunate as I think it's, you know, really, really good. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have any attack like that. So that's why we play these ones. You know, at least we can get it to our hand, right? Um, so with Clang there, Clang is also a good target for... Uh, I believe it's heavy ball, just a regular heavy ball. So that's a you know that's a great option there. Uh, it's attack there is not too bad. It's not terrible, right? Um, yeah, and then we got Kling Clang. So Kling Clang there, uh, Kling Clang's ability there is why we play it, uh, just so we're able to get. Get that, uh, you know, basic energy into play. You know, we can flip, probably not flip, we can just search for three basic energies and attach them to your Pokemon in any way we like. So I really like that. Um, so next for Pokemon. Oh, and it's Power Beam Attacks, not too bad either. We got Bronzong. And Bronzor, right? This is the best bronzer as it can evolve right away. So if you get that evolution incense with a bronzer, right? You just play it and then you, um, you know, search for Bronzong and then you can just evolve it like on your first turn of the game. It's really good. Uh, Bronzong there is super important for the deck because it, may, it pretty much makes... The deck. I know a lot of people are playing that X and 
Y. I can't remember which set in X and Y. Uh, the that that bronze song. It's a really good one. But this one here allows us to move energy around. Right, and that is super important for this deck because the strategy of it is to tank. We want to be able to take hits and we want to be able to heal damage. So that is the strategy. Next, we got the main attacker of the deck in Copper Aja. And there's the Q font, right? Copper Aja is insane, right? Um, Q fat there. So I really like this one of all of them uh, so far. Uh, just because of that high horsepower attack. You know, it does 80 damage for 3 energy. And it's a double colorless. Right? And we actually do play that as well. Right? It just makes sense. You know, we got Kling Clang. We got Clang. Right? Double colorless. We got Q Fat. Double colorless. We got Bronzong. Double colorless. We got Dewblade with the tool drop there, double colorless, right? It just makes sense uh, to play that one. And then the Copper Aja there, Dig Drain, uh, is a great heal card, you know, with the numerous minus 30 tools, the Aegis Slash minus 30, um, the healing from it, you know, heal 30, right? And then Crystal Cave we play as well, heal 30. Right, we're just healing, 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 healing. We can take like basically like 120 damage or less every turn that we attack with this. Uh, you know, providing we have that golden setup, right? And that's not without playing a max potion or a Cheryl or something like that. And then lastly, we got Dialga here. And Jirashi, and that surrounds up the Pokemon. Uh, Jirashi there, obviously, for that Stellar Wish ability. Um, it's one of the best uh, cards ever printed. It's, you know, made, uh, or pardon me, it was made. Um, you know, they, they base it off the original one, the EX Deoxys Wishing Star Jirashi that was used so much uh, back then, except that it wasn't just a trainer card. I believe it was any card, so... Um, yeah, that was absolutely crazy. And then the Celebrations Dalga here, once again, Metal Blast for double colorless. Just makes it really good. Um, it's got 130 HP for a basic, so it's a big beat stick. Um, Temporal Backflow as well. Put a card from your discard pile into your hand, so that's great at getting a card back. All right, so, uh, you know, if you're able to get that off, you can pick a card. And your opponent probably won't even notice what it is. So, because <laughs> there's too many singles to keep track of, right? So, yeah, that's the uh, the uh, Pokemon line here. So, let's get into the uh, trainer cards. So, the trainer cards is the, uh, the section of the deck that underwent... The most change, you know, earlier, you know, as I showed you, I took out a whole bunch. All right. And, you know, one of the things that I was finding, which I think I mentioned already, was I just wasn't setting up, right? I couldn't get a full bench. I could, I maybe had one or two Pokemon at a time, right? And I, I just couldn't do it. So we needed to, you know, we need more Pokemon, search right we got to get those those basics into play we got to get those evolutions into our hands and you know one of the cards that you know i think is you know probably the best search card in the deck is ball guy as it searches through three balls and we got lots of them so um yeah these are the supporters first yeah so that's what it does we've got a single copy of bird keeper here to switch and draw Right, this is great with that Stellar Wish Jirashi. We got a copy of Bridget uh, to search for our three basic Pokemon because they're not Pokemon EX. We got a copy of Cheryl. All right, so Cheryl is our healing card. Heal all damage from each of your evolution Pokemon if you do discard all energy. So it calm as well with that Bronzong to move it around. 
We got a Cold Rest, which we didn't have. Now you can play this or Cynthia, right? Um, it's good because, you know, a lot of decks, you know, Water, um, Psychic, right? Can, you know, th th those two, especially Grass as well, I like to have high benches. So if you're able to um, capitalize on that, right, uh, you know, with this card, then that's going to be awesome for you. So we put that in. Uh, we got Cynthia and Caitlin, right? So it allows you to reuse a supporter card and, uh, you know, gets you to draw 3-2 if you discard uh, another card as well. We got Gloria in here as again, right? It's another Bridget, right? And, you know, you so if you don't like this one, you could play... Um, I, be, I believe it's uh, Clavel or or Jacques, right? Uh, actually, I think Clavel does the same thing as Gloria. So, pardon me, Jacques. Jacques would be the one that searches out the evolution. So, if you want more evolution search, you can play that. Guzma, as you know, it's a great card. Uh, you know, as it forces both of us to switch. Guzma and Hala. So this card is a new addition to this deck. I actually really love this card. Um, I think it's great as you can search your deck for that stadium card. So you can get us that stadium that I was hinting at earlier, which I should be showing you know in a few minutes. Um, and it allows you to search for a tool... And a special energy card, right? So this is incredibly good as, you know, we do play a lot of tools. And we do play quite a bit of special energy. So it makes sense to actually play this. We got a Mallow, right? So Mallow is really good uh, because if we're able to combine that with that Clink Clang, Search your deck for two cards, shuffle your deck, then put those cards on top of your deck in any order, right? You can get two basic energies from that, um, for, you know, from your deck, put them on top, and then you play Clang Clang to get them into play, right? Um, rather than take your chances at a random three. So that's so good. I really like this card, and uh, yeah, I think it should stay in here. We got a Lusamine. So Lusamine uh, allows you to put two in any combination of supporter and stadium cards from your discard pile to your hands. So it's a VS Seeker, right, uh, for supporters and stadiums. We got a Marnie, right, more shuffle draw. We got an N, more shuffle draw. We got a Professor's Research, discard your hand and draw seven. And then lastly, we got a Raihan here, which is our come from behind card. And uh, it's a good one. So that is it for these supporters. The stadiums I will uh, do by themselves. So hopefully we see a little bit more consistency with this, with that Guzma Hollow and the... Uh, the Gloria there. The stadiums, we still have our Artisan. That's the one of the best ones. Crystal Cave, you know, it's, it's a healing deck. It's metal type. So you need to have that. And then we got a new addition in Town Store to search out our Pokemon tool cards. All right, so a really good card to have. Next, our item cards. So we play a skateboard. Let's retreat, and we can retreat, retreat when asleep or paralyzed. We got escape rope, right? We both switch. Evolution incense. Search for an evolution card. Evo soda allows us to evolve. Really good, great ball, a new addition in here, right? We play a lot of balls, so great ball is definitely welcome. 
Look at the top seven. Put one of them into your hands. Heavy ball, right? Three retreat or more. His Sui and heavy ball from the prizes. So this is great. Um, you know, with ball guy, you know, and you grab this after taking a look to see what you have in your deck. Level ball, 90 HP or less. Max Potion, our healing card, right? Just like our Cheryl. Metal Frying Pan, right? Uh, heal 30. Metal Goggles, pardon me, damage reduced by 30. Metal Goggles, same thing. And they can't put damage counters. So your opponent's attacks and abilities can't put damage counters. So that's really good. Metal Saucer, one of the best ones. I really love that card. Wish it was in standard. Nest Ball. Search for a basic, put it onto your bench. Ordinary Rod. So I switched Super Rod for this, as I think this is better. Two basic energies and two Pokemon. Oftentimes, you're going to be discarding those energies after a knockout, right? So then you're not going to be able to get them back, but it allows you to get, you know, a couple Pokemon that you had to discard early on or or an evolution line. Quick Ball, you know, some more Pokemon Search. Rare Candy, right? To get to our Stage 2s, you know, we play 2. Scoop Up Net, right? So Scoop Up Net. You know, we put our, uh, you know, our Pokemon back into our hand, so it goes along with that healing strategy. Trainer's Mail, the ability to dig a little bit more. Ultra Ball, you know, the last ball search card here. We play, you know, Great Ball, that's one. Heavy Ball, Hisuian Heavy Ball, Level Ball, that's four. Nest Ball, Quick Ball, that's six. Ultra Ball, that's seven. Seven ball cards in here, so that's incredibly good to have. And then lastly, VS Seeker uh, to get a supporter back from the discard pile. So 20 trainer cards, right? And then we added quite a bit of supporters, so really good. Pretty happy with this list now. I just want to try it out and see how well it does. And then lastly, we got our energy cards. We got metal. So we do play six, six metal. And then the special energy cards. So we do play a capture energy as we wanted to make it more consistent. And it's a great Guzman Hala search. Counter energy, right, which is really good. Um, as you know, it provides any type of energy and two at a time. So it's a double. Speaking of double, we do play double colorless energy. We got a lot of attackers that use two colorless. So it's a great card. And, um, you know, if we're able to, you know, when we draw that Raihan, right, we're able to Raihan and then search for that too, right? So it's an instant power up for... You know those th you know those Pokemon that have a uh, two colorless and one basic energy attack cost, and then lastly a shield energy as some more damage reduction. Ten energies. So, yeah, there you go, everybody. That is the new deck, the new metal gym leader challenge deck. Hopefully you all, you know, like that and enjoy it. Give it a try. And, you know, like I said, the uh, the strategy of the deck is to um, basically just, you know, prevent damage and heal it off. Um, some things that you might want to try in here instead of the, um, the Kling Clang, you can maybe just try the Magnezone, right? It's a little bit more random. But the, uh, the Magnum Mites and Tawn, you know, might be able to help you somewhere. And then obviously the new Metagross that's coming out in, um, I think it's the April set. Like, I think it's called Temporal Storm, right? That might be a good card to play unless it's in Paldean Fates. I'm not really too sure. 
but uh yeah there you go everybody so yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe on the giveaway as well and uh hopefully you're all tuning into the charlotte regional this weekend i'll be definitely tuning into it and um yeah super excited for it so but yeah there you go everybody thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video